Hi everyone, welcome to my Auditor Screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Revit 2016 and how to use the topo surface command to create a topography. Here I am in Revit 2016. If I go to Massing and Site tab, I have the topo surface command within the model site panel. In the project browser, I'll switch over to site. And as you can see, you've got your elevation markers, a scale at 1 to 20, and your project and survey base points uh, visible. <clears throat> When we're ready to start creating site plans, it is typical to duplicate your site plan and rename them. And the first one I will call it Site Project North. And the second one I will rename Site True North. And the reason we do this is because if we are under, say, Site True North view <clears throat> in the instance property, I can set that orientation to be True North. Now it doesn't look like anything happened because I haven't really set up the, the project yet. Now let's say for example I click and select the project base point. I can go in here and I can make the adjustments for its positioning in north, south, east, west and elevation and angle to true north. Let's say hypothetically angle to true north is 23 degrees. Now that that has been set, if I go to the true north you'll see the orientation has been updated as well. So whether you work in Project North or True North, it's up to you, just as long as you understand how you're viewing it. So let's go over to Site Project North. Most people are used to this. Topo Service. To start the command and work with it, click it. And everything goes very light and gray. It's kind of like sketch mode. <clears throat> and there are several ways to create the topo surface. You can either place a point. You can create it from an import, either a imported instance like a CAD file or specifying a points file. We're going to start with placing a point. When you place the point, the first thing you'll want to do is specify the elevation. So let's just say hypothetically I need it flat right now to put the building down. <clears throat> so I will click wherever I want. And I'm doing this very rough, but you can create reference planes and reference lines to help guide where you want to place those insertion points. Now if I want the building site to slope away from the building, then I would switch this elevation to say maybe minus, uh, minus a foot. And then I can click. And as I'm clicking and placing those points, it's changing the grade to that negative one foot. And I can continue doing this. And when you're finished, you can hit the modify command to finish the place points portion of the command. The material is set by a category, but you can click inside here <clears throat> and you can specify what you want. For example, let's do grass. And you'll see grass is in your library. It's not in your current project. I'll double click it and now it's in. I'll hit OK. And now it's specified as grass. I hit the green check mark to finish the command and my surface is created. If I go to a shaded view, it looks like this. If I go to realistic, it looks like this. We'll leave it at shaded for now. So that's one way to create a topo surface. A second is to insert it from an imported image, um, to select the imported image. So let's do this um, another way. We're going to delete this. <clears throat> we will go to insert. We'll import the CAD file. So I'll head over to my files. We'll select the CAD file that we're bringing in. And we can go through and make adjustments for all of these options, but for the purposes of what we're doing, I'll just bring it in. It'll come in, and it's an imported symbol. If we need to, we can move the survey base point. So because the project base point and the survey base point are on top of each other as a default, when you initially work with it, you can use the filter to command, and then you can unpin it. <clears throat> and move it to whatever position that you need to move it. I'm just going to throw in some random numbers here um, and let it get moved. Now that that's there, if I look at this in 3D, you can see the 3D CAD file and it's got some topo surface lines 
and I need to use this to make my surface. So I'll go back to Masking and Sight, go to Topo Surface, click Create Import, select that imported instance, pick File. Now it's going to list all the layers that are in the file. We only want to bring in what we need. So I'm going to bring in existing and proposed contour lines. Now that they're in, you can start to see what the topo surface is going to look like. You can click Simplify Surface if you need to <clears throat> and increase or decrease the accuracy level. I'm going to leave the default for now so you can see the results. Again, you can work with the materials. I'm going to leave it as by category and finish the command. If I look at it, it's dirt. And this is how you bring in uh, an imported CAD file and use it to create a topo surface. That's the second way. <clears throat> the third way, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to delete this for now. Uh, and also manage links and go to CAD. And it's gone. OK, good. So let's do it the third way. <clears throat> the thir third way is if you have a uh, file a CSV or Excel based file. So you start the topo surface and you say specify points file. Go get your file. And if we open this up in Excel, portable, do do do. You'll see that it's just got X, Y, and Z input values. This is the information you'll get from the uh, civil engineer. I threw some random numbers in here just so that we can work with picking a point file. <clears throat> so now that we have it selected in Revit, hit open. It'll ask us what our units are going to be. We'll just put in um, decimal feet, hit OK. And it comes in and it looks like this. When you finish, hit the green check mark. And this is what your turbo surface will look like. If you go to a 3D view, because my points are just random points that I threw down, you can see that it looks like there's a pit. So those are the three different ways to create a topo surface in Revit. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.